I'm Brett Morse and I'm a discus thrower. Uh, it's very good to be back training in Cardiff. Obviously, my friends, my family are all here and uh, it's just much easier for me. Everything's more consistent. And my coach is now here as well, rather than me travelling to Sweden. And Well, we had training camps all over the world last year. And training's going very, very well. Up until uh, my last competition, I went through a new national record, 66-84. Training has going a lot better than uh, competition had, but I'm glad now to have a mark on the board that replicates my training and hopefully now push on towards the world champs. Thank you. Yeah, training's changed a lot in the last few years. Um, say two or three years ago, because I was still young, we weren't actually w training as much as the volume was not high. I was training like four days a week, weightlifting maybe only three days a week, just because my body wasn't quite ready for it. And every time we tried to increase the volume and increase the amount of training days, I kind of picked up little injuries and stuff. But in the last two years, that's one thing I did get out of last year. I was able to increase my volume a hell of a lot. And, and that may be why this year has gone so well, because I just have that volume in the system. For me personally, I'm not really one of these like big, strong guys. A lot of the guys I compete against are six foot eight and weigh 130, 140 kilos, and I'm six foot two and a half and 115 kilos. That's on a good day. So I'm more about speed. Like I've obviously over the time in the last few years, I've got a lot stronger than I was, but I'm still not as strong as some of the top guys. But I'm just a lot quicker than them, and that's my strengths. When I first started uh, getting to a better level, say, like in Cornwall's year in 2010, obviously there was a lot of media attention then being Welsh and stuff, so I really struggled with it then, it was kind of all new to me and I kind of was given one word answers and I was a bit nervous on camera, but now I really enjoy it, it's quite fun actually, break up train a little bit and do this kind of thing is pretty enjoyable, I like it. Yeah, when I went to Cornwall Games 2010, like, because I'd done a lot of junior stuff with team, like the Great Britain team stuff, I don't really spend much time with Welsh athletes, when I went to Cornwall's it was just amazing to see people like I've grown up with and uh, trained with, and yeah, it, it, like there was a real bond within Welsh athletes and stuff. I think yeah, having guys like Reese in the teams great for me. Obviously, uh, when I was coming up in uh, junior ranks, he was like big in Welsh athletics, and he was one of my idols. And then I shared a room with him in the Commonwealth Games, and we've we're good friends. And obviously, him being European champion, winning medals in Commonwealth Games and stuff. And then, but he's also like a great guy as well. He's not just big athlete you know he's a good guy and uh, he helps myself and all the younger guys come through and compete for great run well, like I said in training before I was being thrown really well every single throw was like spot on and going far and when it comes to competition I think I get a bit excited and uh, it'd be really really good until like the point of release like you just said and then I tried smacking it and it wouldn't go so well but then uh, last last competition I did I threw a personal best and it was actually technically pretty good so now the pressure's off and uh, hopefully I'll throw a lot further I think it's just down to being confident and relaxed rather than just being eager and trying to smack it. Yeah. I just uh, seen guys like Ali Davis, very successful athlete, Reese Williams stuff, make the move to concept and it just made sense to me to follow these guys uh, to an agency that obviously uh, likes to work with su uh, successful athletes and there's just a good atmosphere as well and it's like everyone's friends rather than too business-like atmosphere so yeah. Yeah I showed a lot of potential when I was young and I was doing really well and I made the world champs in 2011, the final there, even though I was just a young kid kind of, so I did pretty well and then obviously last year was a massive disappointment on that, so I'm just hoping to build again, hopefully make top eight in the world champs this year and then hopefully medal uh, in the Commonwealth next year and then on towards the next Olympics and hopefully I'll be in peak form then, peak shape and I'll be in the chance of medal there as well.